A vitamin diabetics probably are deficient unless they do this. Do you have diabetes? Well, vitamin deficiency can be an issue if not managed correctly, especially the B1. So it is important to get the proper amounts of nutrients in your diet. Did you know that even with a healthy body and a balanced diet, there is one particular vitamin diabetics are always at risk of being deficient in? Well, that is true. Unless they are very proactive about addressing this vital nutrient, they're almost guaranteed to suffer from it is deficiency, but don't worry. In this video, I'm going to explain what it is and how easy it is for diabetics to properly supplement themselves and maintain normal levels. I'm introducing the vitamin B1 and why diabetics need it. So hang on to your head, folks, because I am about to introduce the superstar of this vitamin world, the B1, also known as thiamine. Now, I know what you're thinking. All vitamins are important, but this one is like the openers at a rock concert. It sets the stage for all the essential reactions in your body. For our fellow diabetics, this vitamin is more critical than a front row seat at a rock concert. Vitamin B1 helps your body convert carbohydrates into energy, which is crucial for managing blood sugar levels. Plus, it plays a vital role in nerve, muscle, and heart function. So you see, without enough vitamin B1, your body is like a band trying to play without it is lead guitarist. It simply doesn't work as well. Now, let me introduce you to the VIP backstage pass of the vitamin world. Band for tiamine. It's like Tiamine's cool, hip cousin who always gets invited to the best parties. Benfotiamine is a fat-soluble form of vitamin B1. This means it is easier for your body to absorb, so it can get to work faster, quite like a roadie setting up the stage in record time. Not only is it faster, it is also a much better version, like going from watching a concert from the nosebleeds to being in the front row, right next to the speakers. And the best part, you can find the highest quality benfotiamine at sugarmds.com. It's like getting the best seats to the hottest show in town without having to deal with the lines or overpriced popcorn. For those who don't want supplements, I will tell you how to eat your way into lots of B1 in a minute. Let's dive a bit deeper and put on our science goggles for this one, folks. B1 or thiamine plays a key role in glucose metabolism. High stakes round the clock party happening in our bodies where glucose, our body's version of fuel, right? is broken down, resulting in the production of energy. A thiamine is like the master of ceremonies at this party, orchestrating a complex process known as the Krebs cycle. This biochemical process involves several chemical reactions that produce the ATP, the body's primary energy currency. In simpler terms, no thiamine, no ATP, no energy. Thiamine also influences the function of cells that produce insulin, the hormone responsible for controlling blood sugar levels. Duh, you know that, right? Of course you do. But specifically, it contributes to the proper functioning of these cells and ensures they efficiently respond to changes in blood sugar. Insufficient thiamine can result in less effective insulin production and hence poor blood sugar control. On a more detailed note, in the absence of adequate thiamine, a buildup of certain metabolites like pyruvate and alpha-ketoglutarate occurs and they can interfere with the normal functioning of the mitochondria, which is the powerhouse of our cells, leading to less efficient energy production. While the vitamin B1 might not frequently grab the headlines, it is a critical player in our metabolic processes, 
keeping our energy levels up and our blood sugar levels stable. So folks, ensure your diet has enough vitamin B1 to keep this silent guardian of your metabolism in good spirits. Natural sources of B1 and how to get enough of it. Let's talk about this. So you're probably asking yourself, where in the wide world of food can I get this B1 vitamin? Well, strap on your explorer hats because we are going on a culinary journey. The B1 is actually pretty social and likes to hang out in a variety of food sources. It is found in high concentrations in whole grains, legumes, nuts, and meat, especially pork and fish. I'm not a fan of pork, but fish is great. It is also present in many fruits and vegetables, so your mom was right when she said to you to eat your peas and carrots. But here's the catch. Vitamin B1 is a little fussy. When exposed to heat and water, it can get moody and diminish. So overcooking or boiling your food might leave you with a B1-less meal. The trick is to steam, roast, or grill your food. And remember, B1 enjoys company. Combining it with a hearty mix of other vitamins can improve the absorption. So you've discovered where vitamin B1 likes to party and you have even mastered cooking methods to keep it around. Now, let's talk about daily activities that can give your vitamin B1 levels a happy boost. Firstly, let's not forget the most enjoyable activity, which is eating, right? Including B1 rich foods in each meal is like sending out a VIP invite to our superstar. An omelette with veggies, for example, for breakfast, a handful of nuts for a snack, a grilled fish for dinner. You're throwing a vitamin B1 festival, my friend. Next up, let's talk about exercise. Did you know that the regular physical activity actually increases the absorption of vitamin B1? So you can literally jog your way to higher B1 levels. But remember, we are not talking about training for a marathon unless that's your thing. A brisk walk is, will do it. Some light yoga or dancing to your favorite tunes can all do the trick. Lastly, but by no means least, good sleep. It's like giving vitamin B1 a backstage pass for better absorption. In conclusion, it is pretty simple, folks. Eat well, move some, get some good sleep. Your vitamin B1 levels will be singing encores in no time. Benefits of taking a daily supplement for those who cannot meet the dietary requirements. Can I talk about that? If you have time, I'll talk about it. Let's face it. We all pretend to be a grown-up and responsible adult until someone asks us if we are meeting our daily dietary requirements. Then we all collectively roll our eyes and mumble something about broccoli being disgusting while we shovel another bite of pizza into our mouths. It's not always easy to get all the vitamins and nutrients we need from our meals, or we just don't, which is where a daily supplement can come in handy. And let's be real, it is much easier to swallow a capsule than choke down a plate of spinach sometimes. And if you're the type, then you should go for those supplements. So for those of us who prioritize taste over health, taking a daily supplement can really help you. And in this case, SugarMD and SugarMDS.com offers diavitamin as well as benfetiamine as a separate standalone product. And CMOS is another vitamin complex that will help you greatly. So remember, after this video, check SugarMDS.com for your benfetiamine and other vitamin needs. Now, what do you want to watch out? when taking vitamin supplements and maintaining, trying to maintain regular blood sugar levels, right? Let's talk about that a little bit. So it is a wild world of vitamin supplements out there, right? So everyone claims that it's going to help your blood sugar in check and so forth. First and foremost, don't ever go overboard on those vitamins. Just because more is better with ice cream doesn't mean it is the same for supplements. It's just an analogy, you know, don't eat ice cream, of course. 
make sure to follow recommended dosages. In this case, don't go over 600 milligram of amphetamine daily. Stick to balanced meals and don't forget about exercise. Because let's be real, that's much more enjoyable than constant finger pricks. Now, let's say cheers to healthy living. And I'll see you in the next video, my friends. Thank you for watching. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. Uh, it, if you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.